Rick and Morty Season 2, Episode Number 6. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Rick and Morty, which means it's time to get Swifty last week. Show me what you got, man. Another crazy episode again. I love how out there each episode is, like that whole ice tea bit, the whole new religion bit, just a giant face coming down to earth to hear original music. You never know what the fuck you're gonna get. And I will say, a couple of people have hyped up this episode, man. I haven't had spoilers or anything like that, but I have seen some people say, this episode, next week's episode, aka this one, it's supposed to be amazing, dude. So I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask for you guys are new to the channel. You do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, it'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Fun facts about this one. It's got giant telepathic spiders, 11 9-11s, and the best ice cream in the multiverse. Shut Why do I feel like the worst of it all is telepathic spiders that are giant? Oh, great. Oh, boy. Well, what's wrong, Rick? Is it the quantum carburetor or something? Pop quantum the frog. carburetor? Jesus, Morty, you can't just add a <clears throat> sci-fi word to a car word and hope <laughs> it means something. Huh. Looks like something's wrong with the microverse battery. Microverse battery. Go inside what? The battery, Morty. Be right back, Summer. Stay put. Oh, Don't shit. touch any buttons and ignore all random thoughts that feel spidery. Wait! You can't Damn. leave me here? You'll be fine. Ship, keep Summer safe. Keep Summer safe. What the heck? Shit's alive? Damn near. <laughs> That's so dope. Well, you think you're better than me? Nobody's better than me. Hey, hey. What's up? Oh my God! Summer safe. Hey man, what the hell? That was my daughter's pediatrician. What? Your daughter's pediatrician? <laughs> oh God, I can't feel my legs. How? Paralyzed no. them. Summer is safe. Instead of killing them. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Dude, I thought it was scanning him or some shit, not slicing him. And then instead of killing him, dude, paralyzed him. What? I didn't know a ship could do all that shit. His ship, his car, whatever you want to refer to it as. His form of transportation. <laughs> but it's cool again, man. I love that in this season we're seeing more adventures with uh, Summer being included. It's nice. Oh, man. Where are we, Rick? Morty, remember eight seconds ago when, <clears throat> when you said, go inside what? And I said the battery. Mm -hmm. And then we showed up here and I wasn't like, whoa, this is unexpected. This is not what I was expecting, <laughs> Morty. What a perplexing right, mystery right. this is. We're inside the battery. I get it. This <laughs> like quit being a dumbass. All right, Morty, hold on to something. Whoa. Oh. This is all within the battery, too. Holy Keep this crap. in mind. I thought we were inside your car battery, Rick. This is like a whole something thanks morty i'm pretty proud of this bad boy check it out i put a spatially tessellated void inside a modified temporal field until a planet developed intelligent life i then introduced that life to the wonders of electricity which they now generate on a global scale and you wow. know some of it goes to power my engine and charge my phone and stuff you have a whole <laughs> planet sitting around making your power for you that's slavery <laughs> it's society they work for each other morty they pay each other they buy houses they get married and make children that replace them when they get too old to make power that just sounds like slavery with extra steps Ooh la la someone's gonna get laid in college unfortunately yes <laughs> unfortunately yes <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I love that. I love how aware this show is and just po point shit out like that. There's caterers down there? They're setting up chafing dishes! Could you relax, Morty? There's nothing dishonest about what we're doing. Now slap on these antenna. These people need to think we're aliens. Damn, dude. I mean, nothing's really wrong with this, right? We could be in a simulation. We could be in a car battery. Our most brilliant scientist, Zeet Zanflop, has developed a source of energy that makes Google boxes obsolete. Damn. I would love to see it. You. He's like, that's not Who good. What did you say to me? <laughs> you? You told me it means much obliged. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude made up his own language down here. Pretty much. It's hard for people to grasp, but inside that container is an infinite universe with a planet capable of generating massive amounts of power. I Damn. call it a miniverse. Now you have a planet a within a planet. A name. Excuse me? <clears throat> Nothing. I mean, it's hard for us to comprehend all this. Would it be possible for us to get some kind of tour of your miniverse from the inside? This isn't a 
chocolate factory. I don't have time. <laughs> Didn't you say time goes more slowly in the miniverse relative to the real world? Dude, this is some Inception shit again. What they don't know is that 80% of every crank's energy output gets channeled out of the miniverse to be used by us. Rick, no more same Google shit. Boxes. I gotta tell you, Z, with no disrespect, I really think what you're doing here is unethical. It's not cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you got the people on this world slaving away, making your power? I mean, yeah. that's what I call slavery. No, no, no. They work for each other in exchange for money, yep. which they then... Well, yep. that just sounds like slavery with extra steps. Same conversation. His mm -hmm. people will go back to stomping on their Google boxes, and you and I will be on Ice Cream Street, baby! Eating that mother ice cream! <laughs> slurping, slurping, slurping it up! Anyway... Why, why, why are you making that face? Oh my god, what is that? It's me. I've convinced the people of this planet that I'm a traveler from another world. An alien just like Rick. I mean, maybe this place hasn't developed enough to have somebody do that, right? Psychological option detected. Wow. Gestating. Gestating? Come out with your hands up or we will be forced to open fire. Incoming! We got a device! Bob! Bob! <laughs> His Daddy? son. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hunter? Daddy? This what is fucked. the hell? Leave the car alone. What? What? Leave the car alone. That is fucked. Oh my god. Just go back to physical hurt. Dude, who knew Rick's fucking ship was this insane? Energy wise, anyone working on, say, a little universe in a box? How do you know about that? Ah! It's top secret. It's happening again. Dude, this is insane. We're going three worlds deep. Holy base device I call a blueble yank. But what <laughs> they won't know is... You'll be taking most of their energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. This is wrong, Kyle. What you're doing is wrong. You're basically... This is slavery. You're talking yep. about creating a planet of slaves. <clears throat> Told you, Zeep. Oh, they won't be slaves. They'll work for each other yep. and pay each other money. <laughs> that just sounds <laughs> like slavery with extra steps. This is what the fuck we're in, man. Slavery with extra steps. Everybody stop doing what you're doing. Stop paying taxes. <laughs> so he made a universe. And that guy is from that universe. And that guy made a universe. And that's the universe where I was born. Where my father died. Mm. And where I couldn't make time for his funeral. Because I was working on Damn. my universe. You gotta hang on oh tight, no, what you know, is this dude about she, to do? She, she bucks pretty hard. Oh god, is he gonna leave oh him stranded? God. Oh my god, he killed himself. How do you get out of here? Ha <laughs> ha, asshole. <laughs> when I get out of this teeny verse, <laughs> I'm gonna smash it to pieces with you in it. Yeah, well, when I get out of this teeny verse, I'm gonna get out of the surrounding mini verse and then the microverse around that, and guess what? Don't make things worse, Rick. Dude, how long have they been here? I'm out. Uh, I'm gonna go into the wilderness and I'm gonna make a new life for myself among the tree people. It tree can't people? be worse than this. Sure, okay, Morty. Just be back before sundown or the tree people will eat you. <clears throat> That's a myth. Well, why are you trying to start a myth? It's a prehistoric planet, Morty. Someone has to bring a little culture. And mm -hmm. it, it, it certainly can't be someone whose entire culture powers my brake lights. <laughs> Dude, just work together, man. That's hilarious. Like, fuck. I am currently constructing a security measure in compliance with your parameters. But I do want to say, you are not making this easy. You know you're kind of a dick, right? My function is to keep Summer safe. Not keep mm. Summer being, like, totally stoked about, like, the general vibe and stuff. <laughs> that's you. That's how you talk. <laughs> God's the biggest dick that's never existed. Why do you think I'm even here? <laughs> Oh, bro, going back to the snake You're thing from last episode in this league. someone smarter than you. Oh, God. Uh, I thought we were both here because I created a universe of idiots. Damn. The tree people. Morty is the leader. You have to get us the f*** out of here. <laughs> These people are backward savages. <laughs> they eat every third baby because they think it makes fruit grow bigger. What? Everyone's gross and they all smell like piss all the time. I, I, I miss my family. Damn. I miss my laptop. I masturbated to an extra curvy piece of driftwood the other day. Ah! I don't care what it takes. You two are putting aside your bullshit. Oh my God. <laughs> extra curvy piece of driftwood. You're going to need a second mortgage on that tower. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Opium addict. <laughs> <laughs> They're more alike than they knew. Oh, is your wallet in your ship? That's where the transporter is too. So why don't we come with? It's cool. I'll be back 
back in a sec. He's trying to leave. Dude, if he destroys this universe, they're fucked. Morty, you gotta turn into a car. What? A long time ago, I implanted you with a subdermal chip that could call upon dormant nanobots in your bloodstream to restructure your anatomy and turn you into a car. Oh my god! Concentrate, Morty. Concentrate and turn Dude's into about a to car, transform. <gasps> Never mind, here's a taxi. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Dude, what? That's gotta come back at some point, right? Hey, Z. Huh? Happy Rick's kidding. Be yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Rick is a god here. We did it, Morty. Dude, it's been five seconds in the real world. What's going on? I have brokered a peace agreement between the giant spiders and the government. Thanks wow. to the skilled diplomacy of this mysterious space car, from this day forward, human and spider kind will live side by side Fuck in no, peace. Fuck no, bro. I see a spider. Bop. <laughs> ah! <laughs> They're literally a mirror of each other, bro. Same moves. Damn. Uh, <laughs> class dismissed. <laughs> I don't get it. Of course you don't. Time. But Zeke did. He knew that once I got back to my car, one of two things was going to happen. I was going to have to toss a broken battery or the battery wouldn't be broken. Yep. Dude, I wonder exactly how much time passed between when they got out of the battery to when they walked in the car, right? I mean, essentially what we saw within... The universe that they were in inside the battery, they had time to do that entire chase scene, fight each other, and come back. And I think they were inside the other universe a little bit during that time within that 10 second countdown from the dude, right? So I don't know, but that's crazy. Is this universe real? Is me making reactions powering somebody's car battery? Oh my God. It did come back. Holy shit. Morty can transform into a car. What in the world? Um, Season 2, Episode 6 of Rick and Morty is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Morty can transform into a car. What the fuck? I, I figured it was going to come back, but I thought maybe it would come back in like a season or two. You know, later on down the road, not in the after credit scene. That is insane. How does he explain that to people at his school? <laughs> what the heck is going to happen with that, man? That is fucking hilarious. But fantastic episode. I loved it, man. You know, the storyline going on with Summer and the car was great. Seeing the levels Rick's car can actually go to is, is crazy. You know, I mean, or I guess a ship. Rather, I keep calling it a car just because we see him drive around in it, you know, on Earth and stuff. But in reality, it is a ship. But... All that, and then the universe with inside, inside a universe, inside a universe. It's crazy because I feel like we've had a couple episodes where we've played with this Inception idea, kind of, where we're going deeper and deeper. And I guess, you know, Inception is more so the dream thing, right? Going deeper into your dreams. But still, this was fucking hilarious to see, man. Because it's, it's, it, it, you sit here and think, right, with the lines they say. Like, that's just slavery with extra steps. And you're like, no, you know, it is what it is. You know, these people, they, they pay each other for doing things. And then they pay each other to buy houses and pay a mortgage and pay taxes and X, Y, and Z. And it's like, bro, that's exactly what the fuck we do it, man. You know what I mean? We out here, you know how much. Like, when you think about it, bro, taxes, the amount we fucking pay, at least in America, the amount we fucking pay between income tax property tax sales tax all these different taxes is at least 50 percent of our fucking income just gone just because right just just gone at least 50 percent. you know how much better off people would be if they were able to actually have the amount of money they make right like if we were able to have our entire income as opposed to have taxes taken out right to have our gross income most people would be fine you know and be able to live especially with the way the economy is now it pisses me off i hate taxes so much man i know primate the schools this and that bro you know how much the u.s is in debt not only that but money ain't even shit no more it's not backed by gold or nothing all it is is a piece of paper being printed as a physical representation of your time right so it's like bro what the fuck but <coughs> Regardless, man, it is what it is. Maybe we are just a fucking universe inside of a car battery powering somebody's headlights. Who knows? At the end of the day, I fucking love this episode. I see why people were hyping it up. One of my favorites of the show this far, if not 
my favorite of the show this far just because of the overall you know kind of idea behind it like what we're talking about right now i absolutely love him man but it's fantastic to see and you see in the end even though the dude knew what his universe was it was like do we continue doing what we're doing or do we just allow the universe to be destroyed and he allowed them to continue doing what they're doing because they did it for so long like i don't know how long they've been around but it has to have been for a long time because you know he said his dad at his funeral and stuff so it has to have been for a very long time and time moves slower in there too so fantastic stuff at the end of the day don't take life too serious we might just be a universe inside of a car battery powering somebody's headlights let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below like always if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys i hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.